It's Friday 24th of April and we're now four weeks into lockdown here in Scotland. This is a snapshot of our typical daily routine during the coronavirus crisis. As an early riser, I'm typically up well before 6am. Yep, I head straight for that switch and fire up the PC. It's pretty dark outside, I wonder what time it is. Nothing quite beats a cold glass of Scottish tap water to start the day. I still suffer from RSI, so I always boil up a little hot water bottle, which helps ease the hand and wrist joints. No, I'm not starting the day with a Salero, I'm just taking out today's lunch from the freezer, one of my favourites, homemade soup. Jenny's still sound asleep, so I usually spend the first couple of hours in the morning working on my website. Today I think I'll replace some old photos with new ones. Here's one, actress Stacey Dash. I'll go and check out bigstock.com and see if they've got a better version. Yep, there's a few possibilities here. I like this one. I'll go ahead and download that and fire up Photoshop. I reckon I should crop this a little bit before uploading it to celebheights.com. Whilst I'm at it, I better do a thumbnail. So that's before and here's after. Looking good. One of the most important parts of lockdown routine should be regular hand washing. You know, I don't think I've ever washed my hands so much in my life before. You know, I'm getting rather hungry. I think it's time for breakfast. Today, it's Cheerios. Half a banana. and a generous portion of cranberries and raspberries. Delicious! I prefer soya milk, but Jenny? Well, she's not so much a fan of soya milk, she'd much rather have some Cravendale. You know, I can already hear Jenny's tummy rumbling. I better get in there, quick sharp. Thank you. With services like dentists currently being shut, now is the time to really keep on top of your dental hygiene. I also use a water flosser. Just don't fill it up with cold water. Make sure it's lukewarm and get cleaning. It's now past eight and I'm heading to the shops. But firstly, I need to take some essential items with me. Remember, wallets and keys can also be given a little clean. And door handles too, don't forget them. Wait, you mean you've never cleaned your letterbox either? I think I just heard a knock at the door. I wonder who that could be. Well, hello, Kitty. I always leave my outdoor sneakers in the porch and give them a regular clean. I've got my shopping bag and essentials ready to go. But you know what? It's such a beautiful day out there. Firstly, I better get a washing on. Whoa there, kitty. After feeding scare day and washing my hands for the fifth time this morning, I'm ready for the shops. Mm -hmm. 
Remember to give those surfaces a wipe down. Steering wheel, gear stick, handbrake, and don't forget the door handles. Now the dashboard says 751, but I'm a bit lazy to change it. It's actually 851. This is a Friday morning, and normally driving at this time would be far, far busier. But during the lockdown, the roads this morning are extremely quiet. What might be a 15 minute journey in the car to our shopping mall only ends up taking me about 4 minutes. Oh oh, better keep my distance here. Remember folks, 2 metres apart. It's almost 9am and the shopping centre is extremely quiet and there's barely anybody using the public buses. Pubs and restaurants are still closed down and it's mainly shops selling food that are still open. I'm straight into one of my favourite stores, Home Bargains. This is my kind of store. Great prices and fantastic bargains. And this morning, very quiet. Next up is Farm Foods. I'm bypassing the chocolate and ice cream and heading straight for Scotland's national drink, Iron Brew. It's good to see social distancing there, but not that many people are wearing masks when out shopping. I'd estimate about 10% of people wear them. Shops are doing pretty well limiting customer numbers. Before the crisis, they used to sell these in home bargains. Three for a pound. Just one more shop to head into, and again, there's no queuing to get in. I think a lot of people are venturing out to the shops far less often than they were in the first couple of weeks of lockdown. I'm finding the shelves in most stores pretty well stocked. There's only a few things I notice that get low in stock, baking items being one of them. I used to pay with cash before the lockdown, but now I'm starting to forget what money looks like. It's contactless car payments at every opportunity. You know, I'm going to check just in the off chance they have some in. Nope, no hand gel. Maybe next time. I also do all shopping for my parents. They usually text me on the Monday with their shopping list and on Tuesday morning, I'll do the big weekly shop. I've been finding Tuesdays to be one of the most quieter days of the week. Since the last week has felt like proper summer weather, I'm seeing more people going out for their daily walk and exercise. Being cooped up in their homes for so long will be hard on many people. Since Jenny and myself both work from home, our routine hasn't changed that drastically and it's not been a massive change like some people have to cope with. I do sympathise with those people who are struggling through this lockdown. 
Jenny and myself usually go for a walk about 8am, but today I plan on combining our walk with dropping off some of the shopping to my parents. Trust me, these bags are heavier than they look. Whilst I've been out shopping, Jenny's been keeping up with her daily workout routine with Joe Wicks. I think that washing's ready to go, so let's hang it outside. All that hard work has made me a little bit tired. I think it's time for a bath. I much prefer a soap in the tub than a shower, mainly because our shower is actually broke, but a long soap helps clear the mind and relax your muscles too. After that lovely bath, it's back to CelebHeights.com. This time, I think I better go on with some comment moderating. Usually I spend about two or three hours a day reading and responding to comments. It's certainly always an interesting experience. And before you know it, another hour has passed by. And now, it's time for lunch. Today, we're having homemade soup. Ingredients are pretty simple. Two or three leeks, some celery stalks, half a bag of lentils, five carrots, two red onions, quarter bag of broth and five vegetable cubes. During lunch, we'll catch up on the daily briefing from the First Minister and then watch a show. I like to mix up genres, so today we're heading back to the 70s with John Thaw and Dennis Waterman in the Sweeney. After our delicious soup, I'll give Jenny a yoghurt with some cranberries, whilst I'll probably have an apple. And then I'll put another washing on. After lunch, it's time for some gardening. I think Jenny's had enough weeding for the day. I think she's quite eager to go for her daily walk. Me too. Walking is great to clear our minds, keep active and get some vitamin D. Maybe it's a good weather, but this afternoon there's a lot more cars in the roads than normal. But not a lot of people on the streets. Just remember to keep your two metres apart. If you're passing by other walkers, you can always move on to the grass or even just cross the road. Spare a wee thought for our pets during lockdown. That poor dog has just given up. It's only 2.45pm and that's his fifth walk of the day. I'm quickly dropping off some shopping at my parents, but before I go, I'll help them out by doing a little bit of gardening. Whilst I've been hard at work doing some edging, Jenny's been catching up with a neighbour. 
It's good to see Jenny keeping her social distance. Our neighbour was telling Jenny that places like B&Q, which is a big DIY store here in Scotland, was extremely busy. They were up 7.30am in the morning and it took them over an hour to get in. Something you tend to notice during lockdown is the quietness in the air. I'm definitely hearing a lot more bird song and seeing far more animals. Oh, I just spotted some local wildlife. Once back home, remember to leave your shoes in the porch and also give them a wee clean. That second washing is almost ready, but let's get the first load in. Where does the time go to? 4.20pm and I better start thinking of dinner. I'll keep it simple today. Some sausages, a few carrots and Uncle Ben's rice. We always like to watch a TV show when eating our dinner. At the moment, we're doing a big rewatch of Star Trek Voyager, almost at the end of season four. After dinner, I might go back onto the computer for another hour whilst Jenny does some work of her own. Jenny's a crafter. She mainly does handmade cards. She even has her own craft room and I'm sure she has a place for everything. I tend not to go in this room very often. Oh no, there's been an accident. What did you do to your thumb? I dropped your remote control on it. Jenny's had a problem with her thumb for years and just dropping a remote control on it was agony. It was burning up. <sighs> the worst it's ever been. A Cadbury's cream egg will definitely ease the pain. After finishing up some work in the computer, it'll soon be time for bed. It's quarter to nine and outside is getting darker. After brushing our teeth and putting our jammies on, another day in lockdown has come to an end. Good night, Jenny.